Good afternoon and um, welcome to another short Wednesday devotion or reflection. I wonder how you're all doing. I hope you're all right. Uh, we certainly continue to have some amazing weather, haven't we? And it's been lovely to be able to be out and about in the sunshine. I've been thinking a little bit recently about prayer and I don't know if you've ever heard people say that they're finding prayer difficult. Like, I just don't feel like praying at the moment. Maybe it's because things are difficult or maybe it's because they feel that every time they pray, it's kind of hitting a brick wall and just coming back at them. I think that um, for me, one of the things I'm learning is that no matter what my emotions are telling me, I can still talk to God. I should still be talking to him and listening to him. That that is just so vital uh, for my faith. There's a great description in a book by Eddie Askew about prayer, and this is what it says. And the thing about prayer is that it is almost indefinable. You see, it's hard and sharp, soft and loving, deep and inexpressible, shallow and repetitious, a groaning and a sighing, a silence and a shouting, a burst of praise digging deep down into loneliness into me, abandonment to despair, a soaring to heights, dull plodding in the greyness of mediocre being, laziness, boredom, resentment, questing and questioning, calm reflection, meditation, cogitation, a surprise at sudden joy, a shaft of light, a laser beam, irritation at not understanding, impatience, pain of mind and body, hardly uttered or deeply anguished. Being together, the stirring of love, shallow, then deeper, then deepest. A breathless involvement, a meeting, a longing, a loving, an inpouring. I guess when you see, see those words or hear those words, irritation at not understanding, impatience, pain of mind and so on, you think, well, really, has that got anything to do with prayer? But I think it does, because I think that at the hardest moments, at the most difficult times, and even at those times when you simply don't get it, they are the times to keep going back to God, to keep talking to God, chatting to God. If he's your Lord and Saviour, he is also your friend and your shepherd and all of those things. And we need to spend time with him in his presence. That what pra- that's what prayer really is all about. If you want to see a bit more about what prayer is about, read the Psalms. I'm sure many of you have and do on a regular basis. But the Psalms express everything. They kind of cover all of human emotion. And what we find in the Psalms is that everything is brought under the rule of God. Even in the most agonised Psalms, when the Psalmist is pouring out his pain before God, he'll always recognise that God is still in charge and they're a tapestry aren't they of praise and of lamenting of meditating a tapestry of requests full of all of human emotion sometimes when I simply want to find a way to express myself I'll take a psalm and I'll read it and use it as my prayer sometimes I just sit in silence before God And the kind of groanings and churnings, I believe, are also my prayer. I want to read to you a few verses from Psalm 63. Beautiful verses. O God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me more than the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. I lie awake thinking of you, meditating on you through the night, because you are my helper. I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your strong right hand holds me securely. And it says that that was um, a psalm of David 
written at a time when he was in the wilderness. And I guess that maybe some of us feel like we're in a wilderness and it feels dry. It feels like the land is parched and not just because the sun has been shining for weeks on end, but because we're in a time when we just don't really understand what's going on. And we can really echo the words of that psalmist. My whole body is longing for you in this parched and weary land. And we want to continue to praise him and lift up our hands to him in prayer. My prayer for you is that you'll be able to keep on that conversation with God. Bring him into every part of your day. If you think, all oh, my prayer life is rubbish or my prayer life is struggling, just put away those phrases. Don't separate the two. Just bring your life under God's sovereignty and control. Keep him in your chatting and in your conversation. Tell him how you're feeling. Tell him when you feel great and when you feel rubbish. And don't forget to keep listening for his answers. Take those moments to sit, maybe with your eyes closed, silently in his presence and hear the whisper of his voice into your heart and into your life. And remember that his timing is not our timing and we can wait patiently and see his answers and cling to those beautiful words. You are my helper. I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your strong right hand holds me securely. He is holding you securely. You can sing for joy in the shadow of his wings and keep on talking to him. Thank you.